Hi, welcome to Grief Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. Today is the second week of the new pulmonary rehab series that I'm doing. So hopefully by now, your diaphragms are starting to get nice and strong and you're able to find your breath easier. Um, one thing that I'm gonna go over today is something called coordinated breathing. So what this is, is a way for you to let your breath work for you while you're trying to do something. So um, the best example I have is on stairs. So if you were gonna walk upstairs, what you would do while you're standing flat, you would take a deep breath in, filling up your stomach, and then you would exhale as you step. So what you're doing here is you're literally letting your breath work for you. When you exhale while you're doing something that's the difficult part, you're not having to worry about getting oxygen to all of your muscles because that's already there, okay? You take in that deep breath, you're getting oxygen to the muscles. Exhale while you use the muscle. Start all over. It does take you a little bit longer to get up the stairs, but you will get up the stairs without being short of breath or at least by being less short of breath. Um, majority of people don't even realize it, but they hold their breath on the stairs and or they try to go up the stairs so quickly to get it over with that they just really wear, this, wear themselves down too much. So, the coordinated breathing. Try that on the stairs and see how it works for you. Um, and just leave me a note underneath the video and let me know if it helps and if you have any questions. Um, and another thing that you can use that for is um, if you're doing stuff around the house, you're lifting something heavy, you would do the heavy lifting part on the exhale. So for instance, you wanna pick something up off of the floor. So you're gonna take a deep breath in. as you pick it up. So um, that's just a couple of things that you can take with you this next week and try to start using to see how much they help. Um, today, we're gonna get a little bit more into the exercising part of rehab. So I wanted to show you this dyspnea scale. I don't know how well you can see it, so I'm gonna kinda put it up here just for a second so you can see it. Um, this is the scale that I go by in rehab so that I can tell how um, if you need to slow down or if you need to work harder, um, it's completely up to you and as far as how short of breath you are. So dyspnea scale, that is how short of breath are you or a um, chart of breathlessness. So zero you see is doing absolutely nothing. We wanna keep you in this green area. So we wanna keep you around a three or four, which is moderate shortness of air to somewhat severe. Um, but notice right after that somewhat severe, strong and hard's in the yellow. So definitely when you're around four and a half, five, six, you need to start slowing down. And um, definitely if you get down into seven to 10, as far as how bad it or how hard it is for you to breathe, you definitely want to just stop what you're doing so that you can focus on your breathing, regain your breath, okay? So um, like I said, if it's really super easy, that means you should do it either a little faster or you can have a bigger weight. So I'll set this here and that way you can kind of keep an eye on it while we exercise. So the first thing I wanted to do was go over this with you real quick. If you don't have hand weights, cans work perfectly. Um, so you can use cans, bottles of water, anything like that, or you could go and get some weights um, if you are new to exercising at all, then I recommend doing the exercises without any weights at first so that you can kind of get a feel for um, how strong your muscles are, okay? So um, we're going to start off by just finding our breath, doing some good diaphragmatic breathing. Um, you want to exhale with the pursed lips. We're going to do several breaths like that, and then we're going to go into some other breathing exercises. So. You can start off either with your hand on your chest or your hand on your stomach or both hands touching each other over your stomach, however you'd like to do it. Make sure that your feet are flat on the floor. Roll your shoulders back, loosen them up. 
Now just start taking those nice big deep breaths. So fill up from the bottom to the top, breathe in through your nose and exhale. okay if your breath does not match up with mine because everybody has a different count to what they breathe to you just want to try to make sure that you're breathing out twice as long as you're breathing in sometimes it's helpful to count for instance one two probably feeling a little relaxed. You've got your diaphragm engaged here, your abdominal muscles engaged. So we're gonna add some movements here. So I'm gonna move this just so I don't hit it. All right, you can put your hands right in front of you and you're going to inhale, pushing your stomach out as you open your arms wide and then exhale as you close them. Drop your arms, we'll do some shoulder rolls. Loosen your shoulders up really good. It's very common when you have breathing problems to carry a lot of tension, you switch directions. Carry a lot of tension in your shoulders, so I recommend doing these every day, multiple times a day if you have time. Now we're going to um, do one called stir the pot. So you'll start off with your hands here. Your torso is going to go in a circle like this. You'll go around while your feet stay flat on the ground. And then we will switch directions. But we're going to add some breathing to this motion. So hands will be together. You're gonna to go around as you inhale. Exhale back, inhale. careful not to only move your arms because if you only move your arms on this you're not really going to be working your abdominal muscles and that's what we want to work so you'll inhale push your stomach out exhale back One more this direction, then we will change directions. Back the other way, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. rest just a second. Now the next one that we're going to do is just going to it's going to work your diaphragm and it's going to be a little nice side stretch for you. So you want to inhale through your nose. Hold on to your chair. Exhale to the side. Inhale as you come up and exhale over. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And 
gonna do one more on each side, taking us to three on the right and then three on the left. Exhale. Inhale. Drop your arms. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is a sit up without laying on the floor. So your hands will go behind your head. You're going to inhale through your nose, pushing your stomach out. And then you're going to exhale as you fold forward. And then as you're coming back up, you're going to inhale, pushing your stomach out, okay? We're only going to do five of these because you don't need many to really feel it. So inhale through your nose, pushing your stomach out. Exhale forward. Inhale through your nose as you come up. And then exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Drop your arms, lower your shoulders a little bit just to loosen them up. Okay, we're gonna do one more range of motion. That's also going to work your abdomen. So arms down by your side. Inhale as they come up. And then exhale as you bring them back down. Inhale up. And exhale. As you exhale, it's important that you're pushing your stomach in to push the air out and you're engaging both your diaphragm and your abdomen muscles so that you're really working your stomach. All right, so the next step, I'm going to put ankle weights. I'm just going to lay them across my legs. Um, you don't have to do this at first. I recommend, like I've said before, not using any weights at all. Um, but I do this just to add a little bit of weight to my legs. So I'm going to put them, I mean, you can't really see it, but they're just right over my knees here, or right above my knees, I should say. And I'm going to get both of my hands. So I'm going to do a couple of exercises to where I'm working out my arms and my legs at the same time. And this is going to be, this is going to help with circulation. So you're moving your entire body as you do these exercises. So. The first part is that we're gonna be doing some bicep curls. So your arms, you wanna keep your elbows close to your body as you go up and down. And then while you do that, we're going to be working our legs at the same time. So you're going to be pointing your toes, bringing your heels off the ground, and then putting them back down. So you want to inhale while you're not doing anything Muscles relaxed, inhale, exhale, point your toes, heels off the ground, and now you're gonna put them back flat as you inhale, and then exhale back up. Inhale, exhale, bend your arms, point your toes, inhale, and exhale. So, like I was saying at the beginning, if this is really, really easy for you, you want to go up on your weights. And if you don't have any weights, you can just speed it up. I would not recommend speeding up your breathing, um, but you definitely can speed it up. So, let's say, for instance, if you want to do a little bit faster, you can inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, but I 
like to start off slow. You adjust it however you would like. I'm just going to be doing it slow for now. Inhale or exhale and then inhale. The reason it's so important to work your entire body is because the stronger your body is, the stronger your muscles are, the better they are at using oxygen. So weak muscles take more oxygen to work than strong muscles. So you want to stay strong. That is going to help you with your shortness of breath, believe it or not. That's why these the strength exercises are so important and especially working your legs because your legs are the largest muscles in your body, the tops of your legs here. And so you wanna make sure that those muscles are strong for sure, because that's gonna help you walk around and it's going to help keep your oxygen level up as you walk around. So, okay, so you can stop there. We're gonna do a different one. So arms down by your side, we're gonna bring them up halfway and this time, instead of your heels coming up at the same time, you're going to point your toes to the ceiling at the same time. So you'll start off, inhale, exhale, toes up, arms up. Inhale on the way down, and exhale. So like I said, you can always speed it up if you want to. You can do it a little bit faster if this is super easy for you. Just remember, I know you cannot see my legs, but you want to make sure that your toes are coming up as you do this, because that's going to work your calf muscles. Help make those legs nice and strong. Now you can rest your leg for just a second. And what we're gonna do is take your weights out into a T-shape. You're gonna draw a couple of circles with your hands in one direction. I wanna switch directions. Drop your arms, and remember, if that's ever too hard for you, just drop the weights. That's a good exercise with or without weights. Um, so we're gonna go back now to the bicep curls, and your heels will come up. So inhale, exhale up, heels up, arms up, back down. Now, the thing I love about these exercises especially is that you can do these anytime. Um, I recommend doing them. You know, you can watch TV and do these. I actually do these a lot while I watch TV. Um, so this is just a way that you can still keep moving, keep your blood circulating through your body properly, um, and build muscle at the same time. And it's not too strenuous on you. It really shouldn't even make you sore. If you do get sore, it just means you're using too, too high of a um, weight. So you just want to go down a pound. But you do enough of these, even if you only have one pound cans, and you will gain strength. You just have to do more of them. And just don't forget about your legs. Make sure your heels are coming up. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna switch. Arms down by your side, bring them up halfway, and this time your toes are going to come up, back down, exhale. And as you're doing these, anytime, if you have any questions, um, even if they're not related to the exercise or whatever we're doing, um, just drop them in the comment section and I will try to answer them. Now, I have made a playlist on my channel that is strictly um, pulmonary rehab education. So, those videos are going to be short and they're, all of them are going to be geared towards um, different things that you can do to help your breathing. Um, so, I recommend since you're doing the exercising also, go ahead and start watching at least two videos a week. I mean, they really don't take any time at all for you to watch. Um, you know, I go over diet, I go over um, medications, all kinds of stuff. So go ahead and start taking a look in that. So it's pulmonary rehab education um, and it's good for anybody. So you don't have to have COPD. Um, any kind of breathing problem at all, and that education will help you. Okay, you can stop. Rest just a second. We're gonna go back to the bicep curls with your heels up. And we're almost done, so we're just gonna do one more round of this. It's three rounds. And if you happen to think that this is moving too slow for you, you can also go, I have a playlist that's just pulmonary rehab, and I have various exercise videos on there. Um, they range all different um, time frames, so you can get a short one. Um, I have a couple on there that are 20 minutes or so. So if you wanted a longer video like that, you can find one on there. Try to do a variety of exercises because sometimes it'll get boring if you just do the same thing over and over again. Okay, you can stop. Now we'll go back to arms down by your side. Arms up, toes up, and back down. Toes to the sky. So you want to try to do an exercise video at least three times a week. Every other day is perfect because then you can, on the rest days, you still want to do the breathing exercises, of course, but you can rest so that um, your body can actually build that muscle. So we're going to work the muscle out. You have to give it time to build and um, rest. So a day in between is good. The best exercise that you can do is walking. But of course, not everybody can do that. I will tell you, the stronger that your muscles get, the easier it's gonna be for you to walk. Okay, so we've got that, you can stop. So now, we're just gonna take some deep breaths. I want you to start with your arms down by your side. Inhale as your arms come up. Exhale as they come forward. Another breath, bringing your arms up. One more. Don't forget to practice your coordinated breathing, your breathing exercises, and then the videos. And um, check out the education that I have. If there are questions or you want me to make a video about something, just drop it in the comments and I will get started on that. Thanks so much.